On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring the latest updates to the payment approval workflows in QuickBooks Bill Pay. Now, you can more easily and effectively approve payments. Hey, Bro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Pierre and Julie for payment approval workflows in QuickBooks Bill Pay. Pierre and Julie, welcome. Hey, Jacqueline. Uh, it is so nice to be here. I'm really excited to come here today and share with you a little bit about this amazing new feature that QuickBooks Bill Pay has just launched. In fact, this is hot off the presses because it has just launched this week. So today it's available to, cust uh, to customers as well as to our pro advisor friends. We heard pro advisors and uh, we have built this feature based on everything they asked us to go do. Why is this so important? Because this feature is now going to be giving your firm's protection. It's going to reduce the risk and liability when you are doing bill payments on behalf of your clients. It is also going to be safeguarding funds as well as cash flow for your clients it is now only authorized users will be able to release the payments. And then finally, it is highly customizable. And now for the fast facts, who is this for? This is for businesses that are on Bill Pay Elite or QuickBooks Advanced. It's also, it has to be a primary or company admin who can set up this workflow. How do they set it up? They go into uh, workflow automation and they create the approval workflow and then they finally save and turn it on. When is this going live? It is already live. This week we launched it. And then where? This is live in the US only. Let me show you what this feature is and does. Adam is a company admin and is looking to set up payments release approvals for his clients. So. He just goes into the workflows tab and sets up a new template. How this works is uh, it is extremely customizable. So Adam goes in, he specifies who is the approver, what are the conditions that are to be met in order for this to be triggered. So this can be completely customized based on vendors, bill payment amount uh, and a number of other things. And then finally, he can also customize how the approver gets notified that they need to go do something. So he can select between either a task in QuickBooks or an email for those who don't want to be notified in QuickBooks. Once it is all built out and set up, it's as easy as just clicking on the green button and saving and turning it on. So now we come down to we have an approval workflow. Let's talk about what happens in the other side of the house. So we had Jonathan. He is an employee of the firm. He is doing bill payments on behalf of the client. And so he goes into the client's books. There are a couple of bills that are unpaid. He selects a few of them and he decides to go schedule payments. Great. He clicks the schedule payment button and because we have this approval workflow, he cannot just go and release payments. He sets it all up. So he does select the date, but the money needs to be withdrawn from the account, all the information about how much, when, everything. However, he still needs to get an approval before the money actually leaves the account. So what you see up on top, it exactly explains that, that an approver needs to approve before the money moves. So he sets it all up, he reviews it, and then he submits it for approval. So the hard part is done. Now let's look at the approval process. So Adam, who is an admin, um, gets, uh, a, gets a notification that there are some bills that are due for approval. He gets an email. Let's suppose he had selected email at the start. He, he clicks on it, and then he can clearly see 
what are these bills that he has to go approve? He can go individually one by one or select multiple bills if he knows everything is set up, doesn't need to know too much of the details. He can select them all, click approve. Now, if there is, if he doesn't want to approve uh, certain bills, that too is possible. He can actually reject a bill as well as leave a detailed note as to why he has rejected it. So I think this is extremely important because sometimes it might be just a small little error or be a delay. The very fact that you're able to list down the reason, it makes this all the more powerful. And so Adam selects the bills that he wants to approve. He clicks approve and that's about it. It's a simple process. Now let's assume we, we just spoke about how he can reject a bill. Let's quickly chat about if Adam hasn't checked his email or logged into QuickBooks and these bills are pending approval, what does Jonathan do? So one, Jonathan can go into the bills page and under the unpaid, unpaid bills and he can actually see what's the status. Is it still pending? Is it gone through? Of course, Jonathan is the one tracking these payments on a regular basis. So he's really invested in getting this done and off his plate. So he sees this, oh no, something is pending approval. What do you do? He can go in, click on the link. He can, co it, it copies it. And now Jonathan can send a Slack to Adam or Teams or whatever messaging platform the firm uses and inform them, hey, this is pending for approval. Here's a quick link, get it done. You're not just focused on, uh, you're adding entryways. It's not just through email or within QuickBooks. You need to get a decision made and done faster. And we're helping provide you tools to communicate in your preferred way of communication. Thanks, Jacqueline. That was a brief overview of the payments release approval workflow. And I am extremely excited for our pro advisors to start trying this on. Uh, we, I specifically want to call out that we have heard from pro advisors that even for the, even for firms where they are doing bill payments on behalf of their clients, there is a preference to have the client press that last button or to ha have the client do that final sign off before the money is moving. And this feature is going to help that help them. Uh, in addition, if pro advisors go into the workflows tab, uh, they can not just manage this workflow, they can actually download the audit trails so they can clearly see who ha who was the person who actually approved. Now, I know audit trails is something that excites our pro advisors a lot. And I want to say that um, this feature is a step towards moving um, to towards maintaining checks and balances, which our pro advisor friends um, like to do for their clients. So. I'm exci extremely excited about this feature and I hope you all are too. Well, thank you so much for that demo. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our InMinnow Hub and we'll catch you next time.